One of the biggest things with EOD as far as safety is distance. The time has come. It allows us to have that safe separation distance and then target multiple ordnance in rapid succession. Radbo. Radbo will not only enhance warfighter safety, but it will also decrease the time it takes to recover air bases after an enemy attack. It's going to be a huge game changer for us so that we can get uh, our airmen and our aircraft back in the fight. RADBO stands for Recovery of Air Bases Denied by Ordnance. It was developed by the Air Force Civil Engineer Center's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Division at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida, and managed by the Support Equipment and Vehicles Division of the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center at Robbins Air Force Base, Georgia. RADBO really is a culmination of a lot of years of hard work from many organizations and people. RADBO is the first Department of Defense ground-based laser system being placed into production. RADBO is a warfighter-centered, life-saving solution that meets an Air Force requirement for standoff, unexploded explosive ordnance, neutralization, and removal. And that way we can keep the EOD personnel and our other repair crews away from the ordnance and, and keep them out of harm's way. The RADBO solution is mounted on a mine-resistant, ambush-protected, or MRAP, vehicle from within the safety of the MRAP up to 300 meters that's more than three football field lengths away from danger EOD specialists navigate a three kilowatt Zeus 3 laser and camera mounted on a robotic arm with this new technology they can rapidly clear multiple unexploded explosive ordnance from airfields which is part of the Air Force Civil Engineer Center's rapid airfield damage recovery or Raider mission uh, normally this is a very time-consuming process this can drop that down to hours potentially minutes it's definitely gonna keep our airmen a lot safer they're not going to have to do blow and go, walk into the airfield. So this is taking us to a better place than what we've ever been. The majority of the development, testing, and refining of the RADBO system has taken place at Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama. RADBO has proven itself to be an all-weather capability. Uh, it's been tested against blowing wind, heat and cold, sand, the whole nine yards. RADBO really is another tool in the toolkit of the airmen. Lasers. RADBO. Recovery of Air Lasers. For AFIMSC. Disarmed. I'm Brian Godden.